Hello, and welcome to another edition of Inventor's Quick Tips. Today we are discussing the most basic concepts about patents. If you are new to patents, this video will give you a few basics and more importantly, show you where you can get more information. What is a patent? It's a form of intellectual property. Other forms you may have heard of include copyrights and trademarks. Patents are typically used to protect inventions. How does it protect them? It gives the inventor a monopoly, meaning the inventor can control who is allowed to make, use, or sell the invention once they have a patent. A patent has a given jurisdiction. In the case of a United States patent, it covers the United States and its territories. A U.S. patent does not protect an invention outside of the United States, so offers no protection in Canada, Europe, or India, for example. Patents do not last forever. In most cases, a patent can last up to about 20 years before it expires and is in the public domain. And patents themselves are usually public, available for anyone to find and read. So with this in mind, the next thing to consider is, before I even start the patent process, what things should I consider? One, is my invention unique? In order to get a patent, then our invention must be unique. If other similar things exist, either as products or described in previous patents or other documents, then I probably can't get a patent on that idea. Another thing is, might the invention be valuable now or in the future? Hopefully the answer to at least one of those questions is yes. Now, Keep in mind that being valuable is not a requirement for the patent office, but in general, if you are going to spend money on trying to get a patent, it should be for something that could be valuable. Do you know the basics of how your idea will work? Sometimes we have a concept, say a pill that cures all cancer. That's great, but how generally does the invention work? You should have at least a basic theory of operation in hand. Please note that you don't actually have to build a prototype of your invention in order to apply for a patent. Finally, can you keep the details secret? Now this depends on the invention. In many cases, it is impossible to keep the details of an invention secret. For example, a mechanical invention can usually be disassembled and reversed engineered by skilled engineers and technicians. In other cases, such as a chemical formula or process, the details may be harder to reverse engineer. If the details are easy to conceal, then a patent may not be the best option. In such cases, a trade secret may be better. Finally, I want to point you to a great source for basic information, and that is the U.S. Patent Office website, in particular the link shown here. This link leads you to this page which gives a lot of really useful information. You can see there is a timeline, a breakdown of the patent process, and various other articles. The U.S. Patent Office website is the go-to place to get the latest information on how the United States patent process works. I will put a link to this site in the description, along with links to some of my other videos that help explain some of the basics of patents. So hopefully you found this video helpful to help you get started. If so, please like, share, and subscribe, and thanks again for watching.